Wapen, wagwan. Everything a gwan, man. You're in the Caribbean kitchen now. I'm feeling very Caribbean with one of my <laughs> favorite dishes of all time. What we're making? We're making goat curry. Let's run through the ingredients. In the pan there, the meat is really simmering away nicely. Getting Beautiful. a nice color that is now. We've got... So, we've got some onions. Yep. We've got some... Scallions. Scallion, good man. Garlic. Yes. Curry powder. Yep. Some sauce. Sauce. Just red ketchup, yeah? Okay. The beautiful pepper with the attitude scotch bonnet, yes. The mother and father <sighs> of peppers. Yes. Carrots, potatoes, ginger, and thyme. You know, I'm, I'm about to admit something. What? You've <laughs> never I'm, had goat curry? I've never eaten goat curry. <gasps> My so, friend. in goes the onions. Yes. Yeah. And I, you can't have too much onions. It's good for it. Yeah. See, I think this is a dish that really shows the different influences on the Caribbean. You've got the curry powder, obviously, the Indian That's influence. That's the Indian influence. Very good, very good. You've got the, the goat, indigenous animal to the park. Yep. The thyme brought from Europe. Uh-huh. The Scotch bonnet peppers through the Portuguese trading or perhaps something like that. Just brings everything together. That's absolutely excellent. So I just ask a question. So what you've got, the goat in there with some oil and you've, you've coloured off the goat first. Is yes. that right? Yes. To get the, see all the flavour in That's and right. then in goes the onions. Okay. Absolutely. And also we put some garlic. Lovely. I've just chopped these spring onions up. Is that okay? Thank you, that's lovely. That Pop goes in. in as well. What next? J right, now These don't go in just these yet. These don't go in just no, yet. Because we you need to fry that yes. curry powder, don't yes. you? Wow. Some sauce. That just goes dollop in there. Make oh, that can go, yeah. It's I love getting pizza. good. Tomato sauce. I yep. like pizza. That's Absolutely. brilliant. Absolutely. That brings and the sort of sweetness that offsets. Yep. Because Scotch bonnet is a very sweet chilli pepper. And anyway, of course, it's kind of sweet and powerful, but the, I think the ketchup just works quite well with that. Sometime. All that flavour now is just going to cook down. We don't add any water to it just yet. Rock on. I mean, we, you, we're talking about this programme, we're talking about the influences of, of cultures upon the British, British Isles and the food of the British Isles. Do you think about the influence of, of the trading that went on through the Caribbean and yep. all those traders from around the world swapping ingredients yes. and discovering new food? Right. How extraordinary that you end up with this as being a classic Caribbean But dish. also, the great irony to me is Caribbean food hasn't really moved much outside of Caribbean communities. True. Which is just a crying shame. When you taste it, John, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. But it's happening. It's starting to it's happen. It's starting to happen now. It's starting to happen. Right. What needs to happen now is that this needs to just cook down for a while before we add those, the carrot and the potato, because we want them to cook in the curry, but we don't want them to mash too, out yeah. and get they, too they soft. They still need to remain. Absolutely. Do we so need liquid in there, though, first? We do need liquid in there. We need some liquid, liquid. Mr. Hardy. Could you use stout or something? You could use stout. Not too much. Not too much. Okay, so that's what needs to happen. Now. That needs to just McGee's all over again. She's cook down. Me. So what we've got here... Well, I'll get rid of this an hour and a half earlier we started it, didn't we? And right. we just, uh, this is what you see coming together here, what we've just done. So you put that scotch bonnet in there whole? Whole, yes. So that you take it away? Yes. You take it out? Because eating that thing... It has a lot of attitude. When it reaches this stage now, this is when we add... What do we add? The carrot. We add the carrots. Hey. I've and never the... had carrot in my goat curry. And the potatoes. You haven't been looking. No, potato I've definitely had. Right. Right. We so still around. Be mindful that the scotch bonnet is there and you don't want to disturb it too, too much because it tends to bite back later. <laughs> In all sorts of different ways. That's right. That just need to now, give it another 10 minutes or so. Just to get the veg just cook. Just get the veg cook. Lid, lid on or lid off? Lid on. Right, can I get my lid? Lid on. Lid on. Brilliant. And that's goat curry in the making. The wonder of modern television and that 10 minutes has just gone like that. That. Wow. Welcome to my world. Oh, yes. Look at that. So all the potatoes and carrots and everything and all the juice has been soaked up. Yum oh. Absolutely. There's that, where's that scotch bonnet? I'm keeping the scotch bonnet way over there. Yeah, yeah. Way over there. That's a bad boy, isn't it? Very bad boy. A little bit more, Eddie. A little bit oh, more. Eddie. A little bit more. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. What is this? Wagua, Mr. Eddie. Wagua. Boy, I don't want to feed you guys up too much, you know. What are you trying to say, Eddie? <laughs> That we're smell too that. fat already or what? Smell that, John, smell that. Mm. It smells fantastic. Do you know what, John? Normally, at this point, what happens? What do I do? You usually eat. Right, I'm not gonna. You're gonna let me? I'm gonna let you, because you, my friend. I'm a goat curry virgin. <laughs>
touched for the very first time by a goat curry. Like a goat curry virgin with your mouthful next to mine. Well, I'm going to see if you guys are really telling the truth about this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm happy for that. Hear me now. That, the rice and peas, in heaven. So what usually happens now, you see, in a family home is that people fight. that would go right oh. on top of the rice. Well, they won't be tiny on top of the rice. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. See you soon.